This is a 16 drawer small parts organizer that I made from a single 2x6 a few years ago. It still works good and I still use it today, but I need more drawers. So in this video, I'm going to be making another small parts organizer, this time 20 drawer from a single 8 foot 2x6. And I should say this type of parts organizer is heavily inspired by the one that I saw John Heiss make. So I'll put a card up for his video up on the right. So to start, I cut a 40 inch section off from the 2x6, and this is going to make all 20 of the drawers. And I'm trying out a different weird method to make these drawers, and I'll see if it works out in the long run. But for now, I'm going to cut off a quarter inch from either side of this section of 2x6, and that's going to take off the round over, but I'm also going to use those uh, strips later. And then with what is left of the 2x6, I am going to resaw it into two quarter inch boards and one three quarter inch board. I always resaw on the table saw, but preferably if you had a good bandsaw, that would be a lot better. Especially with wider boards like this, I have to do it in two passes on the table saw because my blade doesn't go high enough. And then it leaves a ridge down the middle, which is okay, I can just sand it down. But with a bandsaw, it would probably leave a nicer face and be safer. So use a bandsaw if you can. Okay, so now that I have all three of my resawn boards, I'm going to take one of the quarter inch boards and I'm going to rip it down the middle at two and a quarter inches. So at this point, I have all four sides of all my boxes, and I want to glue them up, but there's not really a good way to do that with no joinery. So now I'm just going to cut a small rabbit on the front and back pieces to help align all the sides for the glue up. So if you're kind of lost as to what my plan is at this point, I'm going to glue up these four sides into a beam, and then I can cut that beam into slices to make each of the 20 boxes. So anything that I do to the beam is what the final drawers are going to look like. All the sides of this beam are a quarter inch except for the front face, which is three quarter inch, and I did that for a reason, you'll see why later, but it also makes the beam and the future drawers look bulky. So to make the drawers look a little bit nicer, I'm gonna cut a cove in that front face. And I'm gonna be cutting this cove at the miter saw, which I really like cutting coves at the miter saw because it's really easy to adjust the size of the cove that you wanna cut, and you don't have to set up a jig like you would for the table saw. But I should say, I'm not an expert. I don't really know how safe this is compared to the table saw, so use your own judgment. And once I'm done cutting that cove, I'm also going to cut a quarter inch by quarter inch groove about an eighth inch from the front face of the beam. And then on the opposite side of the side that I just cut that groove, I'm going to use this 3 8 inch cove bit to cut a cove for a dowel. So I basically just cut out half of a hole, and now I'm going to take one of those quarter inch strips that I cut out in the beginning, and I'm going to route out the other half of this 3 8 inch hole. And I'm just using a couple of pin nails to temporarily hold this piece while I route it.
And then that quarter inch groove that I cut on the other side is to hold the other quarter inch strip that I cut earlier. And once the glue dried, I had one more step before I could start cutting out my boxes, and that was to make a relief cut right down the middle of that routed out hole. And I did that because I think I routed that hole just a little bit too small, and the dowels were fitting in too tight. So I just cut that relief cut to allow the dowels to fit in better. So now I'm going to turn this 40 inch beam into 20 boxes, which means each of these boxes is going to be about 1 and 7 8 inch tall. And I could have set up a stop block for cutting out all these boxes, but in my experience, whenever I cut out really small pieces with a stop block, it just gets pinched on the blade and causes kickback. So I'm just going to use the ruler on my fence to measure these all out. I didn't show it, but once the beam started getting really short, I cut the last few boxes using a push stick and the table saw. The drawers are almost done, but they still obviously need bottoms, so I'm going to cut off a 13 inch section from the 2x6, and I can dice that up to make all the bottoms for each of the drawers. I only need 20 of these bottom pieces, but that 13 inch section ended up yielding me about 24, so I can kind of just pick and choose the best ones. Because the sides of the box are only a quarter inch thick, and because the grain direction of the box is going up and down instead of the usual side to side for drawers, it really allowed the sides to warp really easily, especially the back side of the box, but once I added the bottoms in for each of the boxes, it squared everything up. One thing I wish I had done in retrospect is cut the bottoms to be a little bit bigger and then cut a rebate in the bottom of each box. That way the rabbit would have covered any small gaps in the bottom of the box and I wouldn't have to fill it. And the rabbit would have given me a ridge to put in wood glue. I didn't use wood glue because there was no good way to put it on without making a mess. I used CA glue instead, which I think for such small boxes it'll be plenty strong, but it would have been better if I used wood glue. Next I need to cut some finger holds in each of the drawers to make them easy to open and close. And I'm setting up a jig and I'm going to use a hole saw bit to cut those. All the drawers are done, and now I can fit them together with the 3 8 inch dowels. And throughout this project, I've made an effort to keep these drawers organized so I can keep the continuous grain pattern in the drawers. Also, I'm using toothpicks to separate these drawers a little bit. And the reason I'm doing that is, first off, I think it looks nice with a little bit of a reveal between them. But also, it keeps the drawers from sticking together. Without the gap there, if you open one drawer, they'll all open because um, they're all stuck together, so they need to be divided a little bit so that they open properly. Now I need to make a cabinet to hold all these drawers for the parts organizer, and I still have about 42 inches left of the 2x6, and so I ripped that down to about 3.5 inches and then resawed that section in half. The cabinet needs to be 25 and a half by 11 and a half inches, which means I can miter out one long side and one short side from each of these resawn boards. I'm going to use one of the drawers to set the distance between the front of the cabinet and the back panel, 
And then I'm just going to cut a groove in each of these cabinet pieces to hold the back panel. I still have this long offcut from the 2x6 that I can mill up into strips to make the back panel of the cabinet. I really hate trying to glue up these really thin panels, especially when there's so many pieces. It's almost impossible to get all the pieces perfectly lined up. So once the glue dries and you sand it down, the panel basically turns into a veneer. So I'm not even going to try and glue up all these thin strips. I am just going to cut a groove on the top and bottom of each of these pieces, like shiplap, and then I can just fit the pieces together without any glue. This is a one 2 by 6 build video, so I'm trying to abide by the fake rules that I made for this, but honestly, this isn't worth it. I should have just bought like a quarter inch panel of plywood or something. That's it for the cabinet, and now I can finally install all the drawers. So there you go, the parts organizer is done, and I don't want this taking up any counter space, so I'm going to hang this one on the wall with a French cleat. I think the parts organizer looks really cool with the continued grain pattern throughout all the boxes, but this also isn't the traditional way of making boxes with the grain direction going up and down, so it's probably weaker, I don't really know. I think it'll be fine for small boxes like this, but I guess we'll see.